Good evening, I'm Michael Rinker. The next big name in music could be coming from the Wiregrass. In a matter of days, a Sampson High School quarterback will be getting exposure coast to coast. His audition will be seen this Sunday night on American Idol. WDHN's Christian Jones spoke with the football star, star here in our studio in a story you'll see only on WDHN. Hi, I'm Brent McCullough, and I'm in Lionel Richie's hometown on American Idol this week. Brent McCullough is not like most teenagers. Born and raised in Sampson, Alabama, McCullough is the quarterback for the Kinston Bulldogs. But according to his mom, Tracy, he was gifted with another talent at a very young age. When he was very young, probably nine or ten years old, he would sing very little. And we heard him and we loved it, but he was embarrassed. You know, he was shy, very shy. It wasn't until 2023 that he would get the attention from people across the country when a simple video from TikTok blew up and changed his life forever. I made a little TikTok account and posted some videos on there. None of my family knew about it. Just started posting some on there. And then uh, one kind of blew up. And I just turned it into a music account. I started from there and took my gift from God and just took it on to American Idol. After seeing his video gain more and more popularity, his family knew it was time to take things more seriously signing him up for the hit TV series, American Idol. The young country singer and his family made the trip to Tuskegee, Alabama, the hometown of legendary singer and American Idol judge Lionel Richie for auditions, where McCullough made tons of lasting relationships. They said you'd meet people that'd be your friends for the rest of your life, and I'd be like, no, no, you won't, and you, you will. It's pretty cool. I've got some pretty good friends from my audition. That audition will air this Sunday on WDHN. With all of this newfound fame coming at him at such a young age, McCullough's parents said that it can be difficult to keep his head on straight. You do have to rein him in sometimes. He has to remember he's not an adult. He's still a child. You know, with publicity and with, with um, you know, people looking up to him and, and loving him the way they do, sometimes I think he feels like he's a little more grown than what he is, and we just have to remind him he's still a teenager. In the end, McCullough says that he just wants to shine light on the place that he calls home. Putting Sampson on the map is pretty cool. I grew up in Sampson, live in Sampson, you know, go to school in Kenston, so it, is, it feels good putting him on the map, you know, uh, just to say I come from there. As of right now, his TikTok that started it all is sitting at over 600,000 views and over 100,000 likes. In Dothan, Christian Jones, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.